Hi there, welcome to uh, Check Out Travels Facebook Live on this uh, fine uh, Friday. So I've just been having a couple of technical issues. If this Instagram camera suddenly goes weird, then uh, bear with me. Uh, but yeah, um, welcome. We This is where we chat about all the latest reviews, destinations, and uh, anything else uh, you want to discuss. Um, our aim is to inform you, educate you, so that you get an experience of a lifetime. Um, as you know, we're chatting about Thailand this month, and uh, you know, last week I was chatting about Chiang Mai, and uh, obviously well known for its cooking uh, classes. Uh, but today what I want to do uh, chat about was all about Bangkok and the various food um, experiences that you can have there. Um, so yeah, let's dive straight into it. Um, eating is probably, you know, uh, one of the biggest parts of any holiday. I mean, sampling the local cuisine, you know, is a fantastic way to immerse yourself in the country and, uh, and in the culture. And I think, uh, you know, no visit to Bangkok would be uh, complete without exploring, you know, one of the food capitals of, of the world. Um, what I wanted to chat about today was obviously there were two tours that I did over there. So just some personal experiences and then uh, looking at just some of the other ways and other places that you can go, uh, you know, look at doing this. So I've just had a uh, cold, so bear with me. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, and um, tours. So the first one that I did was uh, was a really interesting one. It was the old food, uh, or well, old uh, historical food tour um, uh, that I did, and it was based in the old part of uh, Bangkok, and specifically on one of the oldest uh, roads in in Bangkok, uh, which was really interesting. And uh, you go around and you visit about four or five different restaurants and get to experience all the local cuisines and all the outside influences um, on Thai food. So whether it's Chinese or Indian, uh, there was Sri Lankan. Um, I even went to a lady's house, you know, where we made these small little things uh, like dessert kind of cookie things. And she had a Portuguese influence. So, I mean, who, who would have thought uh, but really, really interesting and just learning all about uh, the culture, the history um, of these people, of their restaurants, um, of the food. Um, whoops, yep, I see, so here goes my phone on the, on the thing, sorry. My Instagram might be looking that way. <laughs> Um, but uh, yeah, so um, that's, uh, you know, basically, so, you know, just experiencing, you know, these kind of places. Um, that was a, a really interesting kind of tour that I did. And then obviously, um, the, the next tour that I did, which was great, was, uh, was a midnight food tour by Tuk Tuk. And this was great. Uh, this was a really interesting, fun way to get get around the, the city. It was at night. It's great for families. And, uh, you know, we uh, basically what you do is you whiz around the city on a tuk tuk. Um, so quite, quite different. And again, you try out these different restaurants and, uh, you know, different types of food. Um, you've got, uh, you know, they're, and they're out on the street. So you, you're interacting with the locals. But, uh, you know, some of the best Thai food that you're going to eat and, and some really different kinds of, of food um, as well that you wouldn't normally find in your main restaurants. Um, and what's nice is they mix up this, this tour a little bit. So you'll eat at one or two restaurants and then he'll take you to one of the like street side sort of guys who is well known for making like sticky rice and mango, which is a really popular kind of uh, dessert uh, dish. Um, so that's uh, that, that was really nice. Uh, they include like a you'll go visit this rest uh, this bar, um, where it's by the Grand Palace and uh, got these um, you know so you you walk around the Grand Palace at night. It's it's really beautiful and then obviously go to this bar with these magnificent views out over uh, Bangkok, which is which is fantastic. Um, so. I think one of the highlights from that specific tour was also that we, we went and visited uh, this restaurant that makes uh, some of the most well-known Pad Thai. So as you know, you know Pad Thai is synonymous with uh, Thai food, but I promise you, you haven't tasted anything until you've been to this place. So the place is called Pad Thai uh, Tips and Mai, uh, rated as one of the top uh, Pad Thai restaurants in uh, Bangkok. And what's really cool about it is that um, you, um, 
uh, is that you know it's a bit pricey and there's a long queue outside uh, outside the restaurant but it's well worth the wait but what's cool about it is you've got all these guys cooking in these big vats these big dishes flames flying um you know it's uh, it's just like a great uh, kind of atmosphere and they've got like a couple of varieties of different uh, uh different um uh, types of uh, pad thai. Sorry, I'm just going to. I've got a problem here with my. Carry this. Give me a sec. Oh, the joys of technology. Cool. So I'm gonna handheld this, and uh, I've got the Facebook as as well. So uh, let's actually put it like that. Cool. Hopefully that's better. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Um, so, uh, yeah, so Pad Thai, so, you know, just a really, you know, great experience, really great restaurant, definitely recommend going there. And, you know, they take you in the back uh, of some of these restaurants where they show the food being made. Um, cool. Thanks, Nicole. Um, and, uh, you know, you really get to absorb, you know, the whole sort of, uh, sort of feel, look and feel of, of, of what's going on behind the scenes there. So, you know, that was, that was really, uh, really nice. Um, and then, you know, if you're wanting to kind of, uh, you know, do it on your own, you know, obviously you can, you've got your guidebooks and, and everything, but just exploring the city, especially the markets, you know, the markets are a really great place to go uh, check out the food. You know, you've got all the night markets in, uh, in, in Bangkok, which are great. Um, and, you know, you're sitting there on the plastic seats with all the locals and the families. And, you know, everyone eats out there. It's, a, it's kind of different to, to our Western culture where, you know, a lot of the time we eat in and occasionally we'll go to a restaurant. But there the food is so cheap. So it's so nice. You're out there you're with everyone. I mean, the whole city comes alive at night and, and it's, uh, it's fantastic. I mean, some of the other markets to, to go to, uh, there's the floating market. So we will be chatting about all the markets and where to buy stuff next next week but um you've got Ampua and Damnoon floating markets um just outside of Bangkok and there you've got these ladies in these long boats <coughs> where they're serving up this fresh food in their in their boats and uh, and got all their fresh fruit um you know I wanted to say to you actually on that uh, tuk tuk food tour as well you also get to explore the local flower markets the night flower markets and that kind of stuff so it's not always about the the food you know you do go experience a whole a a whole lot of other interesting things um, in the city but yeah the floating markets I mean you've got uh, the the weekend markets in Bangkok uh, there's uh, specifically one called Chadachuk market which is fantastic got some great food there so you know that's really nice um, I think uh, also you know one of my one of my favorite things to do when I get to Bangkok all jet lagged <laughs> and everything is, is to go find a banana pancake and now these are these. This is something that I found, you know, when when I first arrived there, you know, a long time ago, the first trip that I did there, when I was backpacking, and they and they make the most amazing banana pancakes in Bangkok, um, and 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 other areas in Thailand as well. And what it is is these guys with their street sellers, um, you know. Uh, cooking up these uh, pancakes but they're not like the pancakes that we think about uh, where they rolled they like these flat thin pancakes they cook, fry them up chop up banana drizzle in a bit of uh, a bit of uh, condensed milk maybe nutella something anything else that you want there hope i'm selling this to you and uh, and then chop it up and then give it to you on this plate with this little fork which you eat and it's um, oh, it's delicious. Not good for the waistline, but uh, certainly uh, the tastiest banana pancake that, that you're ever going to, to have. So definitely banana pancakes, you have to go there and you have to have those. Um, if, you, <clears throat> if you're looking for something a little bit more conventional, I mean like a restaurant or something like that, uh, you know, one that springs to mind is there's quite an interesting one. It's got, a, it's got an interesting name. It's called Cabbages for Condoms. And, uh, and really, it's a, it's a great restaurant. You know, what they're trying to highlight is just sort of make people wear AIDS, you know, 
so you know being safe you know all that kind of stuff what they do is they promote or they have uh, they take part of their proceeds and they uh, put it back into the local communities so it's nice having that bit of social kind of awareness and 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 helping the local communities there but yeah again fantastic food and uh, and really interesting setup and and how they kind of you know do the whole place um I think going to Bangkok, you know, you can't go there without having a drink. So uh, one of my, my favorite place then, and, and I quite like the sort of, uh, you know, different interesting places with different names and a little bit eclectic. So there's one place there called Jack's Bar. And it's got a little bit more popular. It's a little bit more commercialized now, but, but it's fantastic. It's small, still small, quaint. It's this like rustic shack, tavern, kind of place on Chao Phraya Lake, on Chao Phraya River, um, in amongst all these like five-star hotels. Um, you've got, uh, I think it's right next to the Shangri-La Hotel. And you walk in, it's all these wooden rickety kind of boards. You've got the river flowing underneath you. and uh, But you sit there and you look out over the river. You've got the boats coming up and down and a beautiful sunset. And then you just, yeah, eat the most amazing uh, food that he cooks up. And, uh, you know, just uh, you have, have some awesome cocktails there, and uh, which is cool. And uh, just enjoying the view and the atmosphere. And it's, re it's really like places like that, you know, you come back and, oh, you know, that's kind of what makes the experience. I mean, on the flip side of it, if you're looking at doing something really fancy and smart, and you want to dress up or something, is you could go to the Laboa Hotel. So that's one of the top five star properties um, and it's actually quite close to Jack's Bar and you uh, go up to the Sky Bar at the top and it has the most magnificent 360 degree views but you're going to pay, you've got to be smart and you're going to pay, you're going to pay, you know, sort of whew, 150 <laughs> rand for a beer or something like that but uh, it, is worth, uh, it is worth it and uh, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, I think, uh, I think that, that was, uh, you know, really, uh, uh, really all I wanted to chat about today was just when you go there, go explore the markets, go explore, uh, do a local tour. The Tuk Tuk tour is really fun, really exciting. Um, it's, this is such an integral part of your travel experience. So, uh, yeah. Um, next week, um, like I said, I'm going to be chatting about uh, the markets and all the different types of markets, floating markets, different places to find different things. Um, we do on our site uh, also have a couple of the uh, packages uh, that have got some of these tours included. But if there's nothing there that you find, you know, you can obviously send us an email on info at checkouttravel.com and we can tailor make something for you. Um, but uh, thank you so much for uh, taking the time to, to listen to me today. Have a fantastic weekend and uh, look forward to uh, seeing you next week. Cool. Thanks very much. Okay, cheers.